this is a grade 2 cataract that I'm operating on. I'll be using uh, Aurolab's Hummingbird machine. So it's an entry level machine and I'll just demonstrate how well it performs. Uh, today I'll show you a grade 2 but in any level of uh, grade of cataract it's a very good machine that uh, you know a uh, surgeon can use. I'll be implanting uh, Auro Vivid lens for this patient. It's an Adolf lens. Uh, it has a hybrid technology of both refractive and diffractive and uh, performance is good with regards to post-op halos, glare, uh, stability. So that's the lens uh, I'm going to be implanting today. So I'm starting the surgery using Auro blades for this uh, surgery. You constantly hear me saying that since the patient has a lot of uprolling of the eyes. Is the rexus visible? Yes, it's visible. I'll go a little slow since she is moving a bit and I don't want to compromise on the size of my rexus. Trying to make it around 5.5. Uh, please let me know if it is okay. It's a line on the cornea. So this is around five and a half millimeters. Not a very good hydro, so I'll just repeat my hydro. Now we can see the nucleus rotating freely, so that's that will be helpful during the FACO. I'm using grade 2 settings right now. If need arises, I'll switch to grade 3 depending upon the how it's going. Now this machine gives a stroke length of around 120 uh, microns. Good for occluding. It's a line on the cornea. This is a 45 degree Kelman tip. Yeah, this is 45 degree. So I'll just tell you to share the parameters. Now the uh, I'm using pulse mode. The power is I've fixed it at not fixed. I've kept a linear mode of several at the maximum is 75 for the FACO power. The vacuum, the upper limit is 380 that I've kept for this patient, and the flow rate I've kept at 33. center norima light so we have cleared about uh, nearly all of the nucleus a bit of the cortex is left now the EPT so far has been 14 which is pretty much okay for this grade of cataract switching hands for the other side so that clears it up so I'll be implanting the auto vivid now just a bit of a wash I'll just center it so this is a auto vivid is a hybrid lens so the the center part up to 2.96 is where maximum near ad is given and that comprises a central refractive area followed by four rings for the diffractive my light nodi four rings for the diffractive part it gives the refractive part has a point nine add the diffractive part has 2.1 add the, the rings i think is it, is it fully preloaded it's preloaded yes one of the haptics is not in the back i'll just dial it ma please relax relax irima so i'm just dialing that into the back so is the other rings visible yes definitely huh? those yeah, rings are pretty visible. much visible now we have a go good good overlap of the optic of the uh, my light nodi i'll just try to find focus so that you know the you can see the 
Okay, I think it's visible. I think it's visible. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So regarding the machine, basically it's a very light handpiece. From a surgeon's perspective, I'm talking. It's a very light handpiece. Um, all grades of cataract very easily we can operate. Be it like a soft cataract or um, hard cataract. The lens also gives uh, very good post-op results. Bilaterally, if we implant it, we can even get N6 in the patients. Though it's an adult lens, we can get N6. Just clearing up the visco. I'm not trying to go behind the iris plane because already there's a positive pressure. But though I'm washing the visco, normally I would go beneath, try to wash some. Thickness toric. But for her, I'm not. Synergy. Thickness synergy toric too. Wash has been achieved. Lens is centered well. We can see the rings. We can see the glow. It's nice and tight. I'll just put a bit of moxie in the AC. So that completes the surgery. I'm happy with the AC formed and the wound closure. So that's I'll be stopping the relay of the surgery here. Thank Thanks you. For Thanks for Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.